The work that we're doing here in trying to understand how the giant sequoia trees are responding to the drought requires a lot of physical labor climbing these trees in a short period of time. We tried to do a lot of the work by ourselves and it was terrible. We were exhausted. Honestly, we wouldn't be able to get the work done by ourselves. It requires a whole team effort. So one thing that I've really enjoyed and I think is a really critical part of this project is just the collaborative nature. So we have a really wide, diverse group of people that have helped us over the last several years on this project. The sequoias are such an iconic species, so when I found out that there was science research work going on in the sequoias that I might be able to help out with, I was really excited about it. It was just amazing to watch uh, the climbers and the researchers and just be a part of that. Um, and just to come back and bring people into that for multiple years has been very rewarding for me. I think it's really an honor to work for science and like bring my climbing skills to be able to support science. There's a real intimate relationship. I think anytime you climb something and to be that close with something that's so old really deeply remind me of the responsibility and the obligation around environmental stewardship. Just to come across people on the trail and interact with them and just get the sense of awe that they have about the giant sequoias. It brings people together from all walks of life. They touch so many people and inspire so many people. To be able to be a part of research on them is uh, really wonderful and special. It's just amazing that people's passion and love for the giant sequoia trees brought all these people together to work on this project. It's amazing to be surrounded by something especially climbing in something that makes you feel so small. In a very good way that the world's like a really big place and we're all part of it. 